Hello and welcome to this tutorial and I'll be showing you guys how to use your PlayStation 3 controller with your own PC, Windows 7 or 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, the mandatory materials that you will need is a PlayStation 3 controller and its USB wire. It can only work with a PlayStation 3 controller. Maybe by the time this video within the years, uh, maybe the PlayStation 4 controller may work. But right now we're doing the PS3 controller and let's get started with the video. In order to check what bit your computer is, navigate to your start menu, hover over computer, right click and click on properties. When you have this window open, under system it should tell you under system type, 64 bit operating system or 32 bit. You will know what bit your computer is. Please have WinRAR installed just for precaution. The link will be provided in the description below. A link will be provided below in order for you to have the 32-bit or 64-bit download of this program which will install the drivers for the PS3 controller. Make sure to plug in your PlayStation controller and then the USB wire. Extract the file which we downloaded. Right click on it and click on extract here. Open up the program and follow through with the installation which should be done in just a couple of seconds. After you're done installing it, click on finish, check mark that box. Anything that comes up with an error is perfectly fine, just close the window. The program will open up. We are not finished yet, we have to update it by clicking on about. When you click on that tab, click on check update and update now. If this arrives up, er errors, just click on yes and close anything else that comes up. And click on yes to restart motion enjoy. If it doesn't pop up when you're trying to restart it, that's perfectly fine. Just restart your computer and follow through with this process. When restarting, Keep pressing F8 until a menu comes up. When a menu comes up, choose Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. Press Enter, and that will be it. Now that we're done updating and restarting, open up the program again. Now that you have it plugged in, we're going to have to go to driver manager and check mark this box right next to this whole line here and click on load driver. You should hear a computer ejecting and uh, that should be it. Click on profiles and you should notice this bar here doing its thing. You should get a notification at the bottom right of your uh, window 7 at the bottom right where it should show that it's success successfully installed. Once it says 100% at the orange bar, restart your computer one more time. Now that you've restarted, everything should be set. You just open up the program before you start any game. Now for the settings, I really suggest, and everyone agrees with me that 95% of the games usually work with the Xbox 360 controller emulator. Choose this, and that should be about it. And if you want to do the vibration testing to see your controller's plug, just click on that. And when you do it, your controller should vibrate. Now let me give you an example of me using the controller playing a game. Alright, I'm going to be using my controller. And my wire is plugged in. You can uh, use it wirelessly, but I haven't figured that out yet. And I'm going to be playing Halo, since it's the only thing I can power. believe that what they call the silent cartographer is somewhere under this island. 
The cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. Okay, it works. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, let me know if you have any problems. Goodbye.